Hi, this is Pat with Pat's Two Cents. Do you know there are a lot of you with murder in your heart? Some of you are very sadistic and you claim to be born again Christians or you claim to be good people. You feel like you are worthy of a little revenge. You have the right to a little bit of spite. A little bit of pepper and a little bit of cayenne spices things up a little bit, doesn't it? But your form of cayenne takes the place of resentment, bitterness, vengeance, spite, maliciousness. And when you try to get back at somebody, you're very malicious. You want that thing to hurt so deeply, so intensely that you want to um you want the person to almost writhe in pain to death so you can watch them slowly agonize in all the misery you're pouring on to them for that one or two things they did wrong to you or something they didn't do that you felt like they should have done or you deserved for them to do. So since they didn't do it, you're going to make them pay for the rest of their lives. This is how some of you do that. Some of you have children by the people you're angry with. And you make a strong point of never letting that parent see their child. You also de demonize that person to your child so that you can enable your child or encourage your child to hate that person the way you want them to be hated. You really think that is sanity? You really think that's normal? No, it's not. It's demonic. It's evil to the core. You know, one of the things God hates is a person who sows discord. A sower of discord, a person who comes between what could be a good relationship, but they sour it, they pour poison all over it, venom. They spew out all of their toxins so that the two people are kept apart because of you, because of your lies, because of your exaggerations, because of all the little nasty little things you want to say about whoever to make sure that they never get the chance to get close to their own child and their child never gets a chance to find out that person has some good qualities too because you don't want them to find that out. Why? Because you want to make that person suffer but you don't realize you're torturing your child. No child should be kept from a parent who loves them, who cherishes them, who wants to be there for them. No child should have to endure that. And yes, you are wrong. You are absolutely wrong for putting either one of them through it. Get over yourself, move on, find yourself somebody else and stay out of their relationship. Let them be, let, let people live, let people love. If you wanna live a life of hatred and venom, Go uh, uh, commit yourself into an asylum so they can put you in a padded cell and you can beat the walls up all you want, but leave people in their hearts alone. Yes, you're wrong. And if you don't get that crap out of you, God's gonna handle you. It's gonna be time for payday. And while you're thinking that you got somebody else doing the suffering, and you're laughing all the way to the bank while you cash their checks. They take care of their child, but you don't let them spend time with them. Guess what? Mm -hmm. Payday's coming to you, baby. But see, God's going to write you a check you'll never be able to cash. Your behind will never be able to fulfill or appease unless you truly apologize, truly reconcile what you have torn apart. Mm -hmm. If God doesn't see that kind of sincere effort, baby, you might as well bend over and kiss your own behind. Goodbye.
Get out of the way of these people loving each other. I know of stories where a mother is angry at some guy and the guy wants to be there. He's agonizing. He wants to be there for his son or his daughter. But the mother won't let it happen. No, no. What's wrong with you? Something sick up in your head. Definitely in your spirit. To do that to people. You're torturing your child as well. And you're torturing the person that you want. You want to make them hurt. Well, guess what? You don't have that right, baby cakes. You really don't. And that picture that you see on that screen, take that to the mirror and tell yourself one day, you know, I think I kind of look like that in my spirit. Yeah, you do. Even worse. There's rancid. That There's... There's there's poison, there's there are toxins, there, there, there's death, murder, all in your heart. And you're so busy licking your wounds that God could have healed a long time ago. But you are too busy focusing on somebody else who you have forced out of their own child's life. How dare you? You're going to be... Uh, ju jury, judge, and executioner. Really? Oh, please. You know, you better be careful how you judge others, baby. Because God will turn that right back at you. And it'll be way more intense when God does it. You don't want to slowly die in agonizing pain from cancer. You don't want your body to come apart at the seam, have a toe amputated, then an ankle amputated, then a knee amputated. Next thing you got your hands getting cut off. God knows how to chop away at you. The way that you have attempted to chop away at other people's lives for your own enjoyment. Think about it. That's all I got to say. That's your warning. Think about it. You guys better stop that nonsense. Because when God's anvil comes down and he is the ultimate judge, you will have nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and there will be no painkillers for you.